Hi, my name is Eva Holborn and I'm a visual artist but also a multidisciplinary artist. So as well as visual art, I curate art exhibitions. I'm a, a vocalist, a poet, and um, a, a writer and author. And I'm also a community and pro-union activist and a human rights and equality campaigner. And um, I'm really pleased to be exhibiting once again. I exhibited last year, so thank you for this opportunity to be part of the exhibition again. Um, a bit about me, um, I'm Zita Holborn and I'm based in London in the United Kingdom, um, but I exhibit and campaign um, globally, not just in the UK. Um, my art practice is focused on um, actually what I do as an activist and campaigner. So I use art to campaign for equality, freedom, justice, and human rights. Um, I have a, a big focus on black and brown people and women in my art. Um, I use art also to um, document struggle and to document the um, achievements and to remember um, those who came before us in terms of um, icons and figures uh, in black history. And um, I try and campaign for equality. So a lot of my art is used in, um, in campaigning, uh, as, as campaigning tools, as part of campaigning tools, really, um, to uh, raise awareness of the issues that I'm campaigning on, which could be for race equality, against injustice, for human rights, for gender equality, LGBT plus um, rights, um, for disabled people's rights, for workers' rights, um, and a range of things like that. And um, I do digital art, but I also paint um, in the, the background of one of my um, paintings, which is entitled Don't Judge Me by My Colour. And I like to work with acrylic on canvas um, when I'm painting. And um, my art practice is based here in, in, in London. Um, I started creating art at a very young age. I grew up in um, a creative family. So I've been painting and creating art for as, as far back as I um, can remember. And um, what inspires my art practice is really um, those things that I've already mentioned um, and using, using my art as a platform to campaign for, for rights. I'm part of the UNESCO Coalition of Artists for the General History of Africa. And that means that I use my platform as an artist, um, not just as a visual artist, but multidisciplinary artist to promote the volumes of Africa that were written by UNESCO. Um, which is um, the Coalition of Artists is part of um, uh, a program which seeks to um, instill pride and strength and empowerment, particularly in young black people um, who are on the continent of Africa and of the diaspora um, to counter the racism they face. Because in society, we face institutional systemic racism and everyday racism, direct and indirect race discrimination, um, which is also linked to the legacies of colonialism and enslavement of African people. Um, and I'm also the curator of the Roots Culture Identity Art Exhibition, which was established by the Trades Union Congress Race Relations Committee, which I'm elected to as part of the Stephen Lawrence Task Force recommendations. And Stephen Lawrence was um, a young black man who was murdered by a gang of racists um, over 20 years ago. And his family dedicated their life, his parents dedicated their life to fighting um, for justice for him. And um, the exhibition was set up in his name and in his memory to create a platform for black and brown artists, particularly young black and brown artists who are marginalized, don't get opportunities 
um, to exhibit their, their art. Um, and so that's something I've been doing for 10 years. Um, and um, I, I applied to participate last year in the, the uh, festival. Um, and there was an opportunity to do that because of the pandemic um, virtually. And through that, I learned more about the festival. And I really liked um, what I heard. Um, and I liked the fact that it was very collaborative and that it was artist led. And um, of course, physically, great opportunity to um, travel to and be in the lovely space of Lanzarote as well, once we were able to do that. So um, I was really pleased to be invited to submit some art uh, for consideration in this year's exhibition. And um, delighted also that my pieces that I submitted, three pieces of art have been included. And I hope to be also um, involved in some activities uh, around the festival, in addition to my art being exhibited there. And my pieces of art in the exhibition are entitled Kill the Bills, um, uh, Decolonization, not Deforestation, and um, Stop Deaths at the Hands of the State. Um, and this is a solidarity piece of art um, showing the United Family and Friends campaign in one of the annual marches. And the United Family and Friends campaign was set up uh, by families who had lost loved ones who were killed at the hands of the state in custody. That could be in police or prison, custody, hospitals, um, but in, at government institutions. Um, most of them are black and brown people, um, but it, it also includes some white people, particularly Irish people who have died at the hands of the state and every year those families organize a march in central London to remember their loved ones and to call for justice and in my work as a campaigner I have supported many campaigns many family campaigns and worked with families in their quest for justice. Um, the uh, second piece of art that I mentioned um, is a message about uh, the importance of decolonization um, in, in contrast to um, deforestation, which I oppose and campaign against um, in the work I do on climate change, but also making the link between um, climate change, climate injustice, uh, displacement and refugees and racism, because there is a link between those things and the impact on the global south of racism and climate change. So that's the message in there. And the first one I mentioned entitled Kill the Bills is about um, two bills that are being debated in the UK Parliament, which seek to take away human rights and um, uh, migrant rights and people's rights in general, in, in reality. So those two bills, one is the police and crime bill, um, and um, that bill um, seeks to, re to limit and restrict people um, from protesting for their rights, so that impacts on all people, um, but also targets um, traveler and gypsy communities disproportionately. And the other bill that um, I've been campaigning against is the Nationality and Borders Bill, which seeks to offshore um, the, the processing of migrants, um, has the potential to strip citizenship from um, millions of people who live in the UK, um, people who have a parent that was born in another country or they themselves were born in another country could be impacted, also seeks to push boats, small boats of refugees back out into um, the sea, risking their lives and breaching human rights and maritime uh, laws. And that's just like a snippet of the issues with that particular bill, or actually both of the bills. Um, so yeah, the Kill the Bills um, uh, piece of art is a response to those, those two bills 
that are both racist um, for, for different reasons, but are both racist in intent um, and have the impact of increasing and deepening racism, but also injustice. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of my art is protest art. And so those three pieces are pieces of protest art. And really, I'm kind of illustrating the, the protests that and marches and demonstrations that I organize and participate in as a campaigner. Yeah, so that, that, that's me. Um, a bit about me, a bit about my practice, and a bit about the arts that I have in the exhibition in the festival this year, and really excited to be um, taking part and um, uh, hoping to be there physically, and really look forward to them meeting some of the other artists that are participating um both um both there physically people are there in person but also of course there'll be opportunities for us to engage and meet each other and and speak and learn more about each other um virtually and online um so solidarity um with with everybody and i look forward to the forthcoming festival thanks once again for this opportunity